No, I don't think you're going to do two toys with that. Oh, bye. Hello, it's me. Um, I'm just quickly introducing the vlog because I've gone to edit it and the clip before the one you're about to see has just completely disappeared. I don't know where it's gone. Um, it's not on the SD card. All the other clips are there. It's not that. I hate technology. I work in technology. Hate technology. Anyway, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the third Christmassy vlog. I'm calling it Vlogmas. We're not vlogging every day. We've not got time for that. Um, but the third Christmas <laughs> Christmassy weekend. Welcome if you are new. Do feel if you feel like hit, hitting the subscribe, then please do. Ted's also saying subscribe so you can see more Ted content. <laughs> the Ted Show. Um, yes, or welcome back if you're a usual regular viewer. Um, yeah, so basically I'm just gonna give a quick intro because obviously that clip's been deleted. Anyway, stop rambling. So Basically, what I was saying was that um, our weekend, this weekend's not going to be very Christmassy. Um, we're basically doing a load of DIY jobs, just because we can. Um, I think, was it last week or the week before, we went to B&Q um, and got a massive tin of paint to do the games room and we needed to do some prep before we could paint. Is it just that Christmas makes you want your house, makes you you want your house to be nice. I don't know. Maybe it's because people are going to be coming over and... <sighs> See, I told you it's the Ted show. Um... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, we decided to do some um, DIY, basically. <sighs> Great intro, Emma. I'm so glad that that clip deleted. <laughs> now you've just got this. <laughs> anyway. Say goodbye to Ted, say goodbye to me, enjoy the vlog, and I will see you in a second. <laughs> That's how editing works. So this is the games room, spare room, games room, where all our nerdy, nerdy fruitions come to life. And we want to paint this wall black. This is the sample. I did tell Sam that you normally do paint samples in an inconspicuous area, but he didn't listen really. So, <laughs> paint samples, I need to take that off the wall. And uh, this has been in the wall for maybe six months, <laughs> longer. Um, and it, you kind of can't see it when you walk in because the guitar hides it, but obviously we need to fill that in before. Oh, Ted thinks something else. Nope, not not that interesting, mate. Very cute though. Yeah, we need to fill <laughs> fill those in before we can paint the wall. So that's what we're gonna do. Not we, mate. The paint we have got is black bean, black bean from Valspar. Um, they mixed it up for us. This is where me and Sam had an argument about how much paint you need for the wall. Spent a small fortune on paint. Now we will paint the wall. Very interesting content. Very festive content, Ted. Festive. Festive DIY. That's those holes professionally filled in by me. I'm just saying I feel really sorry for whoever buys this house after us because there's quite a lot of polyfiller in these walls. It's shitty plasterboard walls. <laughs> it is shitty plasterboard walls. Most of our walls are polyfiller. We didn't even bother sanding these down. No, these were going to be hidden. Yeah. But yeah, after the calamity Jane wardrobe man. debacle, yeah, we're going to fill these in. I mean, we know we know that you're not meant to fill big holes in with polyfiller. We know here we did proper, like we put a screed down and then put there, polyfiller on top. There, there, but there. we've done it four times now, and I'm not doing it again. They're quite expensive. Those wall repair kits. So we're going to try our best. That one might be a tricky one. That's yeah. quite a big hole in the wall. Anton Dubeck would be proud. <laughs> Bring Could we the fit wall. through that? Anyway, I don't Sam's have to do, do that this. shape. Sam's going to do these ones. You're not going to film me doing it? No. No, good. I'll film the after. That's all right then. Mm. Questionable job there, Sam. Questionable. I do hope he's going to come back and fix that. 
We've got our Christmas bedding on, by the way. Ignore all of Sam's clothes that have come out of there. Look how cute that is. It was from Home Bargains and it's like brushed cotton. It's really sweet. Why is Christmas Percy on the floor? Obviously Ted has got to come and test it out, obviously. I've just come into my office. Oh, the jungle. Look how fantastic this plant is that Sam's uh, stepmom was given. Well, she didn't want it, so I was like, I will have it. It's huge and totally impractical, but I love it. Anyway, that was off topic. Saying I've come into my office um, to wrap some more presents. I don't think children watch this. They certainly shouldn't. But I'm wrapping them on behalf of Santa. <laughs> I don't know how to explain. <laughs> anyway, I've got some presents I need to wrap because Sam's presents are in here. So I don't want him to see them. Um, his birthday present. I need to wrap his birthday presents as well. Oh my god. And there's quite a lot of presents for Ted in here. Let me show you. One. Oh. I went to Costco. It's lying better this way. Yeah. Went to Costco the other day. Oh, I can put you there, look. How cute is this dog toy set? It's a Netflix one. Little remote, little popcorn with a ropey thing. Oh, Always a ropey thing for the t and then the tail. <laughs> and I'm not going to squeak it, but this has got one big square squeaker in, so it's a really good one. And Costco toys are quite good quality generally. So that was. I thought I'd finish shopping for Ted, but you know, you see things, don't you? And until I have children, he is my baby. We also went shopping uh, yesterday. The pets at home near us has been shut for like over a month because of the flooding um, a little while ago. So I've not been able to get the rabbits any presents because <laughs> rabbit toys and stuff aren't very common in general. Like they're not gonna sell rabbit toys at Costco, are they? Um, so I got them some bits. What did I get them? Are they in here? I thought I shoved them in here, but I can only see. Bear with me. Um, oh yeah. Here we go. So I'll show you what I've got the rabbits for Christmas. I know it's ridiculous, but I don't have children, so <laughs> the pets are the best I'm gonna get. And I can't show you any of the other presents I've got for other people because they all watch the vlogs. So I can show you the pets' presents. I got them this little, um, it's like a cardboard. It's like the same material as like a cat scratcher, but it's a shed. Oh, my tummy just rumbled. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's like a, shed and I thought that was a cute allotment shed yeah and um Thor is a chewer so he always likes to have things like this to chew I also got them a little sprout <laughs> again this is just like something they can chew um hangs on their little baby gate and then I got them this is like their main present I got them a little treat thing and I think these are just these come out and you put treats underneath and then they have to pull them out. Um, someone's riding a motorbike very loudly outside. So yeah, I thought that was good, good for enrichment. And then actually, I think I got them something the other day. I did. Um, I found this in B&M. Sorry, this is just like a little, what I bought for my pets um, in B&M. And it's a little treat dispenser. It was in the cat section, but it's not got any catnip or anything in. I think it's just plastic. So it should be safe for supervised play with rabbits. I've never given them anything plastic unsupervised. Um, I put treats in there and then they'll have to like boop it, get the treats out. That's what I got for the rabbits. How sweet. For Ted, I've got him, I think I've showed you before. Gingerbread man, a new ball, tennis ball. Um, we did get him like some, a big pack of treats, I think we showed from the Christmas market, but we've already opened that because, <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't matter. Do it? And then I've also got him just some Christmassy treats as well. Um, dancers, three bird roast. These are the treats we give him for like training and stuff, so it's always good to have 
little treats in. So that's what I've got for the pets. I don't think I can show you anything that I've got for anyone else because they watch the videos. So I can't, I really can't show anything else. <laughs> um, but what me and Sam might do and comment if you'd like this is we might do like a what I got for Christmas video. Um, I don't know when we'd film that. We'd have to film it, maybe Boxing Day. Um, but yeah, we might try and do a video like that or just like, cause I'm not gonna film Christmas day, obviously, but I'd quite like to film like the morning and opening presents. So we'll see what we do, but we might show you what we got for Christmas. I love giving presents. I'm a really good gift giver. I pride myself on the gifts I get people. So I want you all to see how good I am at <laughs> giving presents. So anyway, I'll wrap this up. <laughs> Yeah, that i'm gonna wrap this up she's a genius and yeah wrap sam's presents so we can't accidentally walk in and see them although i have told him this room is off limits now um but he walked in the other day so i'm gonna have to wrap up and then i think i'm finished with presents nine days before christmas and i think i've got everyone everything i need to get sam something else for his birthday but i don't know what to get him i've used all my good ideas on christmas see if he, he might suggest he wants something else but yes i'm gonna wrap up wrap these presents up hide them from ted hide them from sam and uh yeah i'm gonna spend the next probably couple of hours <laughs> Sam's been practicing his bass. I'll just be playing it. Playing his bass. Um, <laughs> we're having, this looks really gross. It's macaroni cheese. Got a big macaroni cheese from Costco, didn't I? And it's delicious. And we had it for tea last night, but obviously because it's a Costco portion, oh. there's several, <laughs> several uh, leftovers. So we're having some for lunch. And I'm very excited about it. My hair looks great. This is called the, it was doing my head in, so I put it up, look. Ted's had a little pig treat. Unsure. Boys, honestly. Do you want to show everyone your new toy, Ted? Well, you go, what's that? What's that? This is Timmy, the T Rex, from Pets at Home, and Ted loves him. We've discovered Ted doesn't necessarily chew bigger toys, like Olaf has lasted, his little panda's lasted. So, we got him that. I'm gonna save it till Christmas, but he's a good boy. He needs his herbs order. He treats him to work. Yeah. Just making myself my afternoon coffee. I'll show you, I got these. I've been looking for these forever, everywhere, all the time. Oh, cute, festive. Yeah, because they're my favorite things and I think they're great for hot chocolates and coffees, apparently. And I couldn't find them anywhere. But they sold them in Costco. So I got them. Have my little afternoon coffee. I am a two coffee person. I used to be a no coffee person. Delicious. So that is the fruits of my labour. I actually really love wrapping presents. <laughs> our, goal, our theme this year is gold you couldn't tell and a little thing i do i know this is really stupid but um i normally wrap oh, i normally wrap the kids presents or presents that are going to be for kids in a different type of wrapping paper so like this is like an adult present this is for my mum mum look away now <laughs> and this is like that posh foil wrapping same here posh foil wrapping but because i know kids like to just tear into stuff i've wrapped theirs in like brown paper wrapping so they can just rip it open and stuff and 
for the pets. <laughs> I've done the same, but obviously I've not put any bows or anything on there because, you know, pets. Um, so yeah, that is the wrapping. And I'm quite impressed with myself, this one. Tricky, tricky that one. I think I've only got, I've only got my Nana's present left to wrap because I'm actually making it. It's a crochet thing and I'm still mid making it, so. That's the only thing left to wrap, apart from Sam's birthday presents, but I've run out of time today. We need to get ready and go shortly. Um, so I'm leaving it there. Still got Sam's birthday presents to wrap, still got my nan's present to make and wrap. But otherwise, they're all done. Um, I'm tired. I actually need, it is 20 to four. I need to get ready <laughs> to go to the ice hockey. Um, whoa, it's a mess in here. Because we're actually going out for, first of all, we need to pick the tickets up from the box office, which we normally don't have to do. We normally just get them on Ticketmaster on your phone, but because I bought them through my work, I actually have to go to the box office and pick them up like the olden days. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna get some food at the retail park across the road. We're deciding, we're gonna get burgers. But we're deciding if we want Five Guys or there's a place called Unit Burger that me and Sam both really like. So we're going to see when we get there how we feel. And little Tedward, yeah, that's you. Little Ted is going for a sleepover at Grandma's. Yeah. Because we're going to be out. We're going to be out from like half four till maybe 10, 11. We just thought if he can go to my mum's, he can go to my mum's and then he'll not be on his own because he's on his own yesterday and I don't really like leaving him on his own that much so yeah he's going to my grandma's for a sleepover so we'll be child free <laughs> anyway I'm gonna get ready look I'm gonna do a transition look you ready you ready I'm ready oh Sam's put his top on just about I don't know that time in it but yeah Sam's just getting changed but yes ready why did you end up my leg we're just going to get TB ready for his little sleepover. We've got jerseys ready. Oh, I need to get a teddy. It's teddy toss tonight at the ice hockey. That well, makes... it's a good job there's a Smith toast on here, mate. No, I'm going to take one. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm going to get rid of one. You'd think as a 26-year-old woman, I wouldn't have many teddies. I'm not but... allowed in that room, by the way. Yes, yeah, Sam's. Well, you're almost not banned. Everything's almost wrapped up apart from your birthday presents. I'm going to donate this. This teddy. To a better cause, basically, every, once a year before Christmas, I think most of the ice hockey teams do it, yeah. um, they have what's called a teddy toss, teddy bear toss, and they encourage everyone to bring a teddy bear or soft toy, um, and then after, usually after the first home goal or intermission or whatever, um, everyone throws the teddies onto the ice and they pick them all up and then they donate them to kiddies that might not have any presents at Christmas. So, oh, they got some good at the children's hospital. I'm donating this one. Um, yeah, it's quite a fun thing. Do I have any more I can donate? Let's have a look. Yeah. I don't know why. Don't ask me why I've got soft toys everywhere. Donate this little guy as well. Anyway, can you uh, get Ted ready? Need some shoes. Oh, Sam needs some shoes. <laughs> Showing the people your shoes. Oh yes, I'm wearing my fluffy boots because they go with my jumper. I've not worn them yet. This year. This year. Um, I think I've left my phone upstairs. I almost always leave my phone upstairs. <laughs> this is why the Apple Watch has a find my phone function. <laughs> so yes, we're gonna uh, get Tedster ready, get ourselves ready and get gone. Why is he like that? It's like the perfect sunset. Anyway, we're dogless now. Yep. We're free. You want to be free? Go to the ice hockey. Come on, come on.
wasn't a very disgruntled rabbit <laughs> angry rabbit it is sunday we got in last night went to bed basically and today seeing as ted's not here we're going to do the rabbit chores which includes brushing them and trimming their nails and they hate it so it has to be done it has to be done <laughs> your fluff mister. Say hello. Say hello to the camera. I'm sure he really likes it. He loves it. He's getting some face smooches. Which he does enjoy. You're so grumpy. You're so grumpy. He loves it, he's grinding his little teeth. Well, it's the only time I can get actual cuddles when it's forced, so I take it. Mm. You're a good boy. This is Thor, by the way, if you've never seen them up close. Thor is whole Thor, five? Yeah, five. Five. I adopted him from the RSPCA when he was two, and that was his name at the RSPCA. I didn't name him Thor, that was just the name he came with. Yeah, but he's a, he's a big, strong, you know, strong, gentle, blonde giant. <laughs> so, it works. And, and heavy. yes, he's very destructive. He chews everything. One of the first days um, I had him, I had Luna first and then I got Thor afterwards. One of the first days I had him, he went behind the TV cabinet and chewed every single cable that was behind there every cable they were all plugged in by the way um because i didn't know rabbits chewed wires because luna never chewed anything um but yeah he chewed every single cable and that's when you know you had to be contained that's why you can't be a free roam bunny because you'll electrocute yourself <laughs> and he likes to chew a skirting board don't you you've chewed some wall at our old house yeah and you chew all your blankets, and that's why Luna can't have a nice cosy bed, because you'll chew it. So he's a destructo bun. But he's also more cuddly. Like, he'll let you do this. He'll get annoyed in a minute and start scratching me. But this is Thor. I love him. He's a big, chunky boy. He's a... He's meant to be a dwarf, but he's quite chunky. I think, he, I think he is dwarf compared to normal rabbits. Oh, yeah, dwarf compared to normal rabbits. Um... And his lop cross, that's why his ears are really long, but they stand up rather than, a lop would have ears down here. Because he's a cross, they're still as long as a lop, but they stand up. And you're sweet, aren't you? And you're a good little bun. He likes a cuddle, does Thor. So that's rabbit number one. <laughs> I'll put you back now. Okay. I'll put you back now. Should we get your friend in? Mm. See, he's quite happy. <laughs> quite happy with the love. Aren't you? Okay, we'll put you back. We'll get her to this dodger. Look at those the dodgers. Look at those the dodgers. Okay. By the way, to pick up a rabbit, you shouldn't pick them up just like that. You should hold them so their feet are supported because they get scared otherwise this is lulu's lulu is less happy to be groomed because she's old and mardy <laughs> this is lulu luna she's six or seven which is quite old for a rabbit and <laughs> she is a netherland 
which means she's teeny tiny. She weighs 0 0.8 kilograms, which is very, very small. Even the vets are always like, oh my God, she's tiny. And I'm like, yes. And I adopted her from like a, someone my family knew who was getting rid of her, bless her. Um, and when I went to see where she was before I took her home, she was in the downstairs toilet in a tiny little cage in a house where there was a cat, which obviously was horrible for her, and like three kids that were all running around poking her all the time. I think they just didn't know any better. Um, and I think they wanted to get rid of her because they were like, well, she doesn't do anything. And she was quite aggressive, um, I assume, because the kids kept poking her all the time. <laughs> so she was quite aggressive when I got her, to be honest. She used to bite you. I've been bitten by you a few times. But now, she knows she's not in any danger now, so. And we tend to leave her alone, to be honest. We don't really mess with her that much because she doesn't really like it. We don't tend to pick her up unless we have to for medication or, like, obviously to groom them. I know, I know you hate it. But yeah, she's an old girl. Had illness twice. Thank you for those kisses. And now a little bladder doesn't work properly. So that's why she wheezes and poops everywhere because she's had that illness and it affects her kidneys in her bladder. So that's why she can't help being messy. It's just how she is. But other than that, she's pretty happy. The vets are pretty happy with her. I don't like to groom her too much because she really doesn't like it. And you don't shed as much as your friend, do you? You don't shed as much as Thor. Yes, this is Luna. Say hello to the peoples. Say hello to all your fans. And we'll do your trimmy nails. I can do it like this. She's not too bad doing it like this. Thor's worse. She's got dirt out of the nails. <laughs> and you have to trim the nails because because they live inside. Um, obviously, they don't scrape them on hard floor or anything. So you have to trim them manually. Um, probably don't do this as often as I, as I perhaps should. I know, I know you don't like it, I know. It's not very easy. And she is a bite risk, so. <laughs> Can I have your little paw, please? Looney. It's going to happen either way. Yeah, Luna's nails are dead long. Oh, my God. You needed this girl. You have to do it more often, you have to wait till they heal and you have to again soon. Yeah. I do get a bit panicky though because the last few times I've cut the nails, I've accidentally cut their wick and then I get really, I don't think it hurts them necessarily, it just bleeds and I panic. Yeah, but then you just have to wait. Yeah. This is being a pet parent. You can take them to the vets to have the nails trimmed, but then you have to pay the vet. I don't want to do that. So. <laughs> Given the vets enough money for you, Luna, so. I know, I know, girl. All right, we'll wait till Sam helps then, because you're not going to let me do it, are you? Let me just put There you go. I can see Luna's so grumpy, she hates this. See, there's all pets in this house. Yes, this is Dooney. You're an old girl, aren't you? Fun fact, in my old house where I was living when I first met Sam, um, I wasn't allowed pets. <laughs> so Luna was a secret rabbit for a long time. Weren't you? And Luna could quite happily just live, if we didn't have Ted, she did just live in the living room. Mm -hmm. Just on her own, chilling. Um, because she doesn't eat anything. But obviously Thor. Hello. I'm going to turn the washing machine. Okay. Right, well, we'll say goodbye to Luna. <laughs> Bye, Luna. <laughs> Hello. Got no treats for you. Sorry. Luna likes to be up high. I don't know why, because rabbits aren't meant to like that. But whether she just likes being a lookout, I'm not sure. So, she likes coming up on the sofa. 
And then she forgets she can't get down. Yeah. Doors in there. Can you see? So yeah, even though we love Ted. I think the rabbits are like our first love. Are they OGs? They're the first love pets. Sam loves them. Yeah, because they're peaceful and quiet. Yeah, they're really... Oh, he's been bit. No. Yeah, they're dead like chill. In the early days, I don't know if I said this before, when we got Ted and he was a puppy. Because you know Ted now, still insane, nearly three years old. Can you imagine him as a puppy? It was a really tough time. We used to just go in... We'd put him in puppy jail, a.k.a. his crate. And we'd go and sit in the rabbit room in our old house and just sit with the like oh, good pets. Read. She does that. We're no, going to have to get Barbara the Bissell. Look, she's lost all control of her kidneys and her bladder. Mm. It's not her fault. We'll just get some Dr. Beckman's out and clean it. You have anyway. a Bissell spot for that these days. Yeah. But yeah, we love the rabbits. It's quite nice when Ted's not here and we can let them just run around like the olden days. Hair. We are now covered in pet hair. <laughs> mm. need, need a bit, perhaps. Alright, we need to crack on with the day. Oh, really. I'm gonna go paint that wall now. That I said yesterday. You said it now. I've said it now. People are gonna be, people are gonna expect Tuesday Tuesday evening. They're gonna want to see a wall painted. Painted. Hello. Some painting clothes on then. It's only one wall. It's only one wall. I think we'll be fine. Mm. How long did it take us to do the room in our old house? Uh, it took a while, but I just did every now. single wall because you were like, "Oh, I just want to do every wall now." Yeah, we're only doing one. And more. I want to do two rooms. We're only doing one more. Should take a day. No more than a day. We can at least get one coat on. And we're only doing two. Frog tape and the works. That's we'll get clear. it looking proper this time, not Emma Rogers lines. Sometimes I can't be bothered to masking tape, and I think I can do it like a painter would, but I can't. Anyway, Ta -ta. to the paint. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Me and Sam do quite often fall out when we're decorating, so I'm just going to do a nice time lapse where you can't hear us argue. Apart from when I go. Walk out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
go pick up Ted. <laughs> Anyway, I'm ready. Hence, why I said today I should go, but... Ooh, it's a bit of a spooky lighting situation here. I feel like I should tell you a <laughs> horror story. <laughs> Daddy's back! Woo! Woo! Nanny says you've been a good boy. Yeah, she said you've been a good boy. You're not weird up any furniture. That's good. Ted's just getting his magical door treat from the magical yeah, door of wonder. Be nice. Good boy. Now you bed then. On your bed. Time. Teddy tea time. It's Teddy tea time. We've just got in from a lovely, lovely Sunday dinner. It was very delicious. Delicious. Scrummy. Yummy scrummy. Okay. And yeah, we saw some of Sam's family lamb. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, most of Sam's family. And it was lovely. So, um, that was it. It's quite late now. We were there for quite a long time. It's nine o'clock. We had quite a little bit of travel to and from. Um, you know, uh, quickly apply second coat, aren't we? This is paint wine. This wine specific to painting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait until it's kind of goes hand in hand with that crazy art lady, so <laughs> This is, I need this to paint. Well. I have, I don't know if you can tell, but I have previously had two wines at the dinner. Maybe you can tell. <laughs> it's Christmas! All drinking rules go out the window at Christmas. Oh, sorry. Just a bit of blue. Oh. <laughs> Sam's just gone to check on the rabbits and they were getting cosy. So anyway, yes, we are probably going to end this vlog. Oh, yeah. Alright, we'll show them the finished wall. The very yeah. exciting finished black wall. Okay, we'll do that. We've only got 14 minutes of SD card left, so we'll see what we can fit in. Oh, hello, sir. On the bed, I see. You made yourself very comfy over there, eh? As soon as you've been banished <laughs> from the painting room. How rude of us. How rude Hello. we are. So he's never looking at you. No, he doesn't care really about me. I did have a shower earlier. That was null and void. Me? It's nearly done anyway. It didn't take us two minutes. No. Ted's protesting the paint jail. Hello. Paint jail. You're in paint jail. Paint jail for little boys. Yeah, but you'll just get paint all over yourself, Ted, and you're a blonde dog, it's not... Mm. Let's go straight back to barbers. <laughs> in other news, we are done. Two coats, it was very thick, good paint, so... Two coats is okay, I think. It won't focus. Come on. Cool. Well, yeah, there we go. Wall. Yeah, so... It looks good. Just when we peel off frog tape off. Yeah, we might have to do that tomorrow morning. Oh, I might have to do it tomorrow morning. We'll do it yeah, but you have to peel it off before it dries completely. Do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because it sticks to you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, we'll see. Well, we might have to do it today. Yeah, depends on how we go to bed, I suppose. We've got way too much paint. Who did the calculator, Emma? Who told me to buy more paint, Sam? The lady at the shop did that. And you, oh my gosh, she heard us having an argument <laughs> and she was on your side. Anyway. We will. Uh, show you it's a very bold look into i think yeah but this is like a cozy games room so sam suggested us getting another bulb much like the one in the hallway for the light because it's very cold lighting the bulbs that gleason provided are very cold and we haven't got a light fitted in here yet so and everything's white yeah so we'll get a nice cozy warm bulb we're gonna get everything's chaotic right now we're gonna get different desks like a wooden desk top long work top um, and like drawers underneath and then we're gonna have two sets of shelves per apparently i'm not being negotiated on this per station <laughs> so because the, the shelves are pretty full right now so i think two sets of shelves will make it look less cluttered 
and then we're also going to put some um, prints. Sam's collected some prints from the gigs we've been to, so we're going to put them on there as well. So we have got a plan. It's just a slow process because everything costs money. The paint was the first process. Everything else will be at some point in the new year. <laughs> furniture is very expensive. It's very expensive furniture. Oh, little. Someone thinks it's unfair that he's not allowed in the paint room. He's not seen us for the past six hours. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. You're very cute. You're also probably going to cry. I've been asking instead of people. You're very cute, Belle. We're going to come in a minute. Come in a minute. Hello. Hello, happy. My daddy's best friend. You did a very satisfying step. Satisfying. How many wines have you had? Four. <laughs> It's so, 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 guys. We're going to do a very satisfying step. Oh, we've already peeled some paint off the wall. That's good. That's good. Is it white paint? No, it's actual paint. No, okay. we don't want to pop the walls. Oh, well. But that's why we've got the touch-up brush. We tried. That's why we've got the small pot. Honestly, if we peel off white paint, I'm just thinking Gleason is not too very good white paint. Oh, it's bled a bit. Frog tape. Come on, up your game, frog tape. This is actually not a side train at all. Well, then stop filming then. Okay. Do you ever want to fall out with your new build builders? Try and decorate. Because that... That's just frog tape. Is the frog tape peeling off. You can't see because it's not focusing, but that is the frog tape peeling off the wall paint. Because Gleason used a rubbish wall paint. Anyway, it's okay. It's a mess. The frog tape did not help us at all. It did. It's better, well, than, better than what we it's did. It's better than freehand, but it's also not fantastic. It's better than masking tape and all. But we're not perfectionists. No. No one's going to stare at it, like, intensely. So I well, think... It does. Honestly, I think it's okay. Most of this will be covered with furniture. So... It's alright. No, carry on. No. Carry on doing your Duolingo. You've just been doing yours. Does anyone else do Duolingo and forget about it until it reminds you at about 11 o'clock at night and then you have to do it in bed and resent every second because you're in bed. You don't want to be learning when you're trying to go to bed but you don't want to lose your streak. Can anyone relate apart from us? Because I hate Duolingo. I hate it. But I've got like a 280 something. No. Yeah? No, you haven't. Over a 200 day streak. 280, because you're not as long as mine. And I don't want to lose it, so... We do Duolingo every day. And I hate it. Anyway. Anyway, we're in bed now, obviously. Yes. As evidenced by the bed. And we're going to go to sleep. It wasn't very Christmassy this weekend. No, it wasn't. You're what? still looking at the camera. Oh, Sam, if you mention to me one more time <laughs> that I look at the screen and not the lens, I'm going to kick off. <laughs> You've been aggressive. Every day oh. Sam mentions this to me. I love you. <laughs> anyway. Can you go to bed? But thank you for watching. If you have watched, I'm so sorry. Sorry for the chaotic nature of life. <laughs> Well done for making it this far. Godspeed to all well, of Well, we you. have a nice vlog next weekend. It's quite Christmas. Yeah, we'll have finished work. Camera's clashing us. Oh, yeah. We'll have finished work, so we'll be more relaxed. I finish work Thursday afternoon, so I'm finished work on Friday. But then we're off forever, for ages. It's going to feel like... Loads of time. In fact, no, it's going to feel like no time at all. We're going to go... Oh, fuck, we're back away. So we'll have a nice vlog for you next weekend. We'll do lots of Christmassy things. I'm gonna bake. You could do you could do some Friday stuff. Maybe if I do, I'm planning on going to the garden centre, but I need people to come it's with a posh me. Garden. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna bake. We're gonna do the gingerbread houses. That's gonna go well. So we're gonna have a very festive weekend next weekend because obviously it's Christmas on Monday. But for this weekend was more DIY. Getting the house. For the new year. For the new year, yes. So, thanks for watching. 
stay tuned for an actual Christmas vlog next weekend. Mm. And we'll see you <laughs> next week. <laughs> Bye! All lies. No one celebrates like that after DIY. You all hate each other and never want to see everyone again. We did fall out at least three times today, but we're friends but now. But why is that, Emma? I'd prefer not.